Hello and welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Crafty Jojo and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. And today I want to show you how to make this cute little gift card holders that slide in a gift card that's the size of a bank card that you get these days from uh, most gift shops. Um, and uh, it features this cute little piggy stamp set, which is this one here. It's called the little piggy. And I've gone for this um, motif here and I'm also going to show you another stamp set that is ideal and that is center paws and that's um, this stamp here and I'm going to show you how I color it in and how to make these in general so this is the outside held together with one of these clips that I still have plenty of so I need to get rid of them and this is the inside so this little piggy loves you wishes Merry Christmas and the gift card goes in here all right so let's get started what you will need is cardstock so um, I've cut this from one um, piece of cardstock and the strips measure 10 7 8 by 2 5 8 and we need to score them at 3 5 8 on either end and wait a minute this goes like this can you see it so because we are going to flip them over when scoring so 3 5 8 is here and then we flip it over to the other side so the score line is now here and again we do three five eights and this is because we need to create a valley and a mountain fold so this is like so and this is so in a z shape you are going to do it so i'm quickly going to do these as well three five eights flip it over and do three five eights and again, three, five, eight, and flip it over, and that's all our scoring done. So that wasn't too difficult. So I'm going to set this aside. So the next thing we need to do is, we need our one and a half inch circle punch, and we need to create this little gap for the thumb, and this is going to be the back side. This is going to be my pocket. So I'm going to aim to make it like so. So this is the back side of my card and this is the front and it still needs the aperture. So I'm going to use the same handheld, handheld punch and I'm just going to make my hole as centered as can be. So this is the card base that um, you need to create. And the next thing you need to do is before you can go ahead and stamp it, you are going to take the extra small, like extra slim. I think this is just one eighth of an inch or even one sixteenth i'm not sure but the extra sticky double-sided red tape i'm using because when you squeeze the plastic card in its slot you want this not to come undone so make sure that the um sticky tape you're using is can you still see it because i don't know i can't see my chair is too low i don't know what happened here somebody must have sat on it and put it down or maybe I'm too heavy and it just goes down by itself <laughs> I don't know well I can't really look at my own hands here so this is what you need to do and then um, you can already peel this and glue it together so when you glue it together make sure you make the right ends meet so you give this a good rub what's this here god knows and this is the card base already finished and now we need to stamp it so in order to um put the little piggy in uh this is the way i mounted the stamp so this is the little piggy um and this little piggy it says this little piggy and i've also used this stamp loves you and i've put it right underneath so it's ready to be stamped and is in the right um height so it doesn't go too far away so this is what i do so you stamp your motive and i'm using the stars on because i'm going to if you especially if you use um alcohol markers alcohol ink you need to use stars on to stamp your design and you want to stamp it in a way that you aim 
you have to eyeball it that the piggy looks through the aperture and it does and the next stamp you are going to put is this Merry Christmas one and the Merry Christmas one is from the Better Together the second uh, set of the two and this is the Merry Christmas here and we're going to stamp this to the front of our card so this is how it goes I have to get up otherwise I can't see what I'm doing all right here we go and that's my Merry Christmas and now it's time to color this in let me just quickly cover my stars on up it's a bit smelly because of the chemicals inside there so I am using the pens the watercolor pens but I don't use water today because it's not the right paper and I'm going to use these four colors to um, color in my piggy so the piggy gets pink ears so I'm using the magenta kind of but I don't apply much pressure I just gently slide over the paper and here I'm going to add a shadow so I add more color I layer it kind of by going over the same area again and again can you see it hopefully I don't know if the camera catches this but it's quick and easy it's not too hard just try to play a bit with light and shadow add some texture and then the face I'm not going to color in completely just doing the middle part kind of and for the cheeks again I layer and I just do circles until I have nice round cheeks as you can see here this is what comes out from it and then the body I'll just give some light texture here and then I start adding a few darker bits in just to add some texture to it and don't forget the legs for the feet I'll just use a bit of the dark brown like so and the mouth is bright red and for the grass underneath I just use this green pen and then I again go in adding some texture to it getting here and there a bit darker and that's it that's my piggy colored in and to finish it off I'm using uh, these bow paper clips that I still have I think they're from last year but I still have plenty so I'm just going to use them to hold my card together and uh, for a bit of bling I'm going to add this and where do I want it just up here so this is my gift card holder done the gift card goes in here I haven't got a gift card let me just find one okay so this is my IKEA family card um, but this is usually um, the gift cards that you can buy in most shops these days and it slides in like so and sits nicely in your little gift card cute isn't it and the second motif I wanted to show you is exactly the same um, size so again you need your cardstock set 10 7 8 by 2 5 8 and uh, we have scored it already so you're going to fold it in a Z shape okay and you need to punch out one end for the card like so and you need to put in your aperture so this goes very difficult to eyeball this center yeah it's okay it doesn't matter if it's not 100% centered so um, I want to put in my sticky tape again because I want to show you um, the center pause motive as well very easy to color in very cute looking gorgeous and this is an ideal make you can instead of a gift card you can also put in um, money or a token of love whatever a sex voucher 
So whatever you want, you can put in that little pocket, a hidden love letter. So here we go. So this folds up like so. Ready to be stamped. And this time it is the little poodle. That's um, this one here from the center paws. And here comes center paws is the sentiment underneath. And this goes to the inside of the card. So again, I need to get my stars on out smelly stuff and then I'm going to aim that the poodle is just looking right through the aperture like so test 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 I love it it's cute isn't it and um, again the Merry Christmas goes to the front Get up again. Here we go. So this card is the same procedure. Again, I'm going to use the pens, but this time I want to use the blue. And I am going to add a bit of shadow here as well. And in this fold, it's naturally a bit darker. And then around his legs, I want it bluish, like so. So this is not rocket science. You don't need to be um, an illustrator to color in your stamps. Just make sure you use Stazon because when you use alcohol inks or you want to use uh, watercolor paper and then use watercolor on it you would need to make sure that you have put stars on for your outlines otherwise your stamp is going to swim away kind of all right so um he's going to get a red nose oh that's orange wait a minute no it isn't oh i'm colorblind a bit of red and um, I'm going to use the yellow to give him some shadow here. And I'm also adding a few darker spots in here. And that's this card done as well. And the same procedure. Going to put my... paper clip I don't want to damage my paper that's why I'm using they are so oh come on once they have been on once they are okay but when they're new they are not all right and a shiny rhinestone goes goes to here and these are where's my second card where's the other little piggy where did I put it here and this is the piggy card so two quick makes very cute from inside and easy to make you will need to make loads because christmas is coming soon and everybody's buying gift cards and um, the gift card slides in here so there you go perfect fit disappears and it's a very pretty card i hope you like my little tutorial here and enjoy making these little projects for your own christmas preparations and um, thanks for watching um, this today and please um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet you can also in the description box of this video you find the link to my facebook group if you haven't joined so feel free to join a link to my Etsy store where you find lots of other tutorials. Um, you can find a link to my blog and to all my other social media profiles. So just um, click on it and just browse uh, whatever I have got uh, on offer there. And um, yeah, thanks for being with me today and until tomorrow. Bye.